<clears throat> hello, hello, welcome to my channel. I Today I have for you an unboxing. I got my Page Habit box yesterday. Um, and so I wanted to give you a little unboxing. I get the fantasy subscription. So every month I get a fantasy book and a few other little tidbits. Um, plus the, uh, the great thing about this subscription box is that the author for the book that's it, that's in this box has annotated his novel for everyone. And you also get a little letter from the author. So that is really, really cool. Plus page habit, uh, for every subscription that is... Uh, for every box that's bought, they donate books to um, a place in need for a month. Um, so that's really cool as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and get into it. So uh, I've already opened it. So let's see here. You can see the letter, um, and it says, uh, snap, give, read, and if you post a picture of your unboxing with the My Page Habit tag, they'll donate another book to a child without access. So that's really cool, and I, um, I really, really adore this subscription box. Um, out of all the ones that I've, I've tried, um, I've done... Owl box and lit lit crate, I believe. Um, and this is this is just my favorite. Um, so this month, I have my letter from the author, which is really really long, and um, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be interesting because he says here in his first sentence says letter writing is a lost art. So. I'll have to read that later. Um, Page Habit always comes with these really cute bookmarks. Um, and it, on the back it has that. And then it says, fill your house with stacks of books in all the crannies and all the nooks. There you are. Um, so the next thing I have is a keychain which says I am an omnivorous reader with a strangely retentive memory for trifles not really sure where that comes from hmm I'll have to look into that but it's this really cute bookmark or not a bookmark it's a keychain um, I believe this is a a, a quill top Let's see if I can show it to you all right so the next thing before I get to the books is um, I have these copper string LED lights and so I'm trying to not get this flare in um, which is really really cute I'm excited to put these on my bookshelves really cute so and then another thing that comes in your box every month is a short story that has been commissioned by um, Great Jones Street Publishing. And so this one is A Winter Shade of Christmas. Um, they're usually really, really quick reads. Um, this one is, Matt lies about his Christmas plans to his coworkers every year for the past five. He doesn't want to admit to the truth his loneliness, or the place he visits every Christmas day. 
but a chance encounter with a homeless acquaintance might just save him this year. Interesting. It feels almost a little, um, maybe it's a little uh, Christmas Carol kind of thing. Hmm. That'll be interesting to read. Sorry, I just knocked the camera. So then we have um, this little card that tells you all about where the donations went to. This month it went to uh, Sierra Leone, Leone. Um, and it tells you a little bit of, in, it also tells you a little bit of information about that country. It tells you um, all of the, uh, the school participation, the literacy rate, um, the adult literacy rate, um, how much water, access to water, um, things like that. So that is really informative and really cool. This is a really nice, nice addition. And then on the other side, we have, it lists all the books that everyone got in the other page habit boxes. Um, I, they have uh, young adult, literary fiction, mystery, horror, historical fiction, science fiction, and romance boxes. So they have something for everyone. If you're not interested in fantasy, they have quite a lot um, for everyone. And if you have a page habit box, I'm sorry, I may have just spoiled your box for you. Um, but they also have this referral program. So um, if this sounds like something you'd be interested in I let me know and I can send you a link and you can get your ten dollars off your first box um, and that's really cool so now for the book the book is Glass Towns by Stephen Saville um, I have not heard of this book. This is the first time I've even heard of this author or anything. Um, the cover is very interesting. Um, just looking at this cover, I would be pretty interested in this book. Um, and can I just say this cover is so soft. I don't know what kind of material they, they use, but it's so soft. If you're in a bookstore and you see this book, I highly recommend just picking it up to feel it. Um, it's, God, I just can't get over how soft it is. Oh man. Um, anyway, so let me move on before this becomes a weird 12 minute video of me fondling this book. Um, so as you can see, it has these little post-it notes where the author has annotated his story and it just gives you uh, insights into maybe what he was thinking as he wrote that passage or maybe further insight into a character or a plot line that he felt maybe he needed to give you a little more information on but that is really really cool um, it's just an extra extra tidbit into the story and that's really cool um, so Glass Towns is, um, it's a fantasy murder thriller mystery kind of thing. Um, so back in 1928, a, a very famous actress goes missing, um, and it hasn't been solved. And then this, um, one of her descendants, it, back in 19... I believe it's 19, 1994 goes off and tries to find out th what happened to this actress and in doing so he also finds out he finds a world of monsters and magic and um, things of that sort so I don't really like to read synopsis all that much I did read this one um, but mostly I just like to look for trigger words and I'm like, okay, magic, okay, London, okay, definitely. 
this is something that is I'm probably going to like. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to get into this. And the other two books I've gotten that I haven't read yet. Mm. Um, so that's all for my page habit unboxing. I will have later, uh, probably tomorrow I'll film, I'll be able to film, um, my book haul for December, which is pretty, pretty intense. Um, there's a lot of books to go through. Um, I don't know exactly how many, but it's, it's, it's quite a bit. Um, and I will also have a review of Chasing Symmetry by Tempest Blake up on my channel. So stay tuned. And if you like what you see, like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.